Mr. Hey, it's Mr. Leatherwood. This is Weeks. And, and so sell. Yay. And we're continuing our decimal unit, so we're going to talk about adding and subtracting decimals today. Awesome. Uh, you've already learned how to, the place value, and you've already mm -hmm. learned how to line up your decimals yep. and order and compare your decimals. Mm -hmm. um, and this is somewhat similar. Mm-hmm. Yep. So let's do, um, let's say we were adding. Can I ask you a real quick question? No. But okay. Yes. I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. <laughs> Why do you think they teach decimals after fractions? Why do you think those two would be tied together? Just out of curiosity. Well, they're they're both parts of a whole. Yeah. So yeah. fractions That's are awesome. parts of a whole and decimals are parts so of a whole. So these kind of feed nicely into each other. Yes. So later on we start talking about Excellent. fractions and decimals. Yeah. So yeah, they'll have that tied in. But I just wanted to mention that because I think, you know, when we're talking parts of a number, yeah. they need to remember that. So because everything after the decimal isn't really a whole number, the only parts of it. Right. So, all right. So I gave him an example. I think that's awesome. 12 and 134 thousandths, thousandths plus yep. 5 and 12 hundredths. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. So again, first thing I do is I draw my decimals. Mm -hmm. And I'll even... Oh, no. You said no shirt. I'm not going to draw a shirt. Oh, okay. But I go ahead and in my answer, oh, the, okay. the decimal should be mm -hmm. right lined up with the two add-ins that oh, I'm good. together. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. Okay. So then I'm going to fill in my, my digits. Beautiful. And this helps me to not mess up my place value. Mm, okay. okay. Now you can see that there's something missing. Mm -hmm. And we talked about this in our video for comparing and ordering. Right. We can add zeros. Exactly. Especially if they're to the right of the numbers that right. already exist after that decimal. So, so in addition, you really it's really not as big of a deal as it is mm -hmm. with subtraction, but I want to go ahead and get you in the habit of doing it. So I'm going to add that extra zero. Right. Okay. And then I'm just going to add nice straight down. 4 plus 0 is 4, 3 plus 2 is 5, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 and 5 is 7. So nice. we get 17 and 254 thousandths. Now, if you prefer the U.S. algorithm way or a different strategy than this, as mm -hmm. far as addition goes, you're more than welcome to use this. This is kind of the short, old-fashioned way of doing it. Awesome. Okay. Um, subtraction. Yes, let's do that because those okay. are always tricky. They are. There we go. Subtraction. All right. All right, so let's give them... Um, something tricky. Come on. Something tricky? Yes. All right. You said it. You're Minus thinking, aren't you? Yes, I am. And... Mm. Okay. I'm going to go one more. Oh, are you? Can I? Okay, yeah, you can do that. Ooh, Ooh, okay, you, you were. You I, I doubted you for a minute because you had the zeros in the tenths right. place, and I thought, oh, that's not hard. You said okay. tricky. Yep, okay. okay. Yep. So it is subtraction. So yep. this year we definitely, we first number is bigger. We're going to put that one on top. Exactly. I'm going to draw my decimals first. Mm -hmm. I'm going to line up my answer decimal. Mm -hmm. Little subtraction symbol. Yeah. I'm just going to fill in my digits. Doo -doo -doo. Yep. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. okay, yep. Now, we talked about earlier, you really need to fill in those zeros. It's very important when you're doing subtraction. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and put my extra zero out here. So we're both numbers are going all the way to the thousands place. Right. Okay. Now, this is also a very... Because I don't want any friends to just drop that one straight down and exactly. not realize that, that they need to. That is a common mistake. Yes. And we'll talk about that when we do common errors this week. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, they'll see it. It's coming yes. up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to subtract. Again, if you like U.S. algorithm or a different way to subtract, that's fine. We're just going to do it the old-fashioned way. Yep, okay. Um, so, one from zero. Can I subtract one from zero? Negative, no. So not. So I need, to, I need to regroup. So I'm going to take a group of ten. Yep. And take that away. I'm going to turn this into a group of ten. Okay. And now I can subtract. So ten minus one would be? Nine. Nine. Okay. Can I take three away from one? No. I cannot. No. Nope. So I'm going to take a group of 100, but there's not a group of 100. Mm -hmm. No. Or 10th, actually. I guess I should say. Yes. Call it a 10th, yes. not a 100. Yes. Okay. So that's not going to work. So I have to come all the way over to my whole number. Mm hmm. It's going to turn it into a 1. Right? All right. This gets turned in to 10. All right. And then we're going to borrow. Group, yep. To nine tenths. Mm -hmm. Regroup, excuse me. Yes. And now and that can be. Yes. 
Perfect. There we go. That's a lot of work. Okay. I, we told yep. you, tricky. Yeah. And the U.S. algorithm may help you to see this better. Exactly. Out. Exactly. So 11 minus 3 mm -hmm. is, is 8. Oh, my good <laughs> googly eight, moogly. Right? Yes. Eight, okay. 9. Take away 0, we can do. Nine. So that's 9. <laughs> 4. Take away 2, we can do. Mm -hmm. And then 1. Take away 1 is mm -hmm. 0. So awesome. we have 2 and 989 thousands. thousands. Double nice check me. Job. Could be wrong. No, no, no. You're right. right. You're good. Okay. So there's a lot of lot of places that you can mess up in mm -hmm. there. Regrouping. Um, a, a real common error error that we see is that when you have a zero here, just bringing down that one. So make mm -hmm. sure that you don't do that. Exactly. That would have changed the number completely. and would have been wrong. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. We'll give you some practice problems on your quiz. Make sure you work really hard on it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And we'll show you how to do, we'll go back to the other the other methods too to practice in class. Sure. Maybe so that they can see this stretched out in, in place value form so yeah. that they can try to subtract that way too. So Sounds good. That's awesome. All right. Yay.